Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the talk show with Shirley Knox. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for tuning in on today. I'll be talking about motivational things that you would be able to use for your day. On today, I'm thanking God that God has given me a rest to be able to continue to keep myself together. I know that there is a lot of you that are looking at the direction of the show and are picking up. So I'm going to continue to keep forward with that. I thank you so much for helping me to be able to regain my control about this show. The show is motivational and it will keep you going. And all of the things that has happened in the past, present, and the future, I thank you so much, Lord God, for giving me the epiphany to be able to continue to go on. I thank you so much for, Lord God, for giving me the peace that I need in order for myself to be able to carry on with this. On today, I will be talking about out of Revelations chapter 3, the nomination of the King James Version. Chapter 2, it says, In all of my kingdom, I shall continue to keep myself in rest with the Lord, for God has given me everything that I do need. In my own rest, I shall continue to do what God says. In the kingdom and the peace of God, please help us to be able to retain those things that God has us to do, because the Lord is the normal. In all of the things that are happening in this life, I thank you so much for giving me peace. And I want you guys to continue to know today is Monday, and it probably seems like it's a struggle. There is a lot of people that are out there working right now and asking God to extend a blessing and anointing upon those people that are working. Help me to be able to continue to keep myself retired and strive for the things that are happening in the past, present, and the future. For God shall survive, provide, and I shall continue to keep myself in the warrant of the Lord. God help us to be able to be redeemed by those things that are happening in your passion. Lord God help us to be able to pick up what we need to pick up at in our own projects that are creative and novelty. I shall not allow myself to be upset about who this bread comes from. I thank you so much, Lord God, for giving me peace in the things that I do have. And all of the things that is written in you, Lord God, help us to be able to stay in that. For we shall continue to keep ourselves together and know that God is good. I want to continue to let myself be reigned in your own power. Lord God, help us to be able to be endeared in you. For we shall continue to know that the Lord is there with us at all times. We should not allow ourselves to give up. Because God said, don't give up because you see the power of the Lord moving in your life of all of the things that are happening in this emancipation. Lord God, help us to be able to keep our children where we need to keep our children because they are our breath. They are our wealth. And we shall know that the Lord is still with us at all times of all of the things that are amiss. Lord God, help us to be able to keep ourselves in a novelty can trust. We thank you so much, Lord God, for giving us peace and honor where honor is due of all the things that are happening in the past, present, and the future. We know, Lord God, that you are there with us no matter what, and we should not allow ourselves to be anticipated about those things because God is good. I ask you, Lord God, to help us to be able to be in your phase for the Lord is there with us no matter what, and we should not allow ourselves to be upset about who it is, where it comes from. We thank you so much, Lord God, for giving us gifts as you do. Lord God, you gave me a gift of love, and then, Lord God, I thank you so much for anointing me anointing us all in this scenario to be able to continue to keep ourselves together of all the things that are happening in this future lord god help us to be able to be known that this is what it takes for ourselves to be able to keep ourselves together we thank you so much for giving us peace and honesty where honesty and peace is due of all the things that are happening in this society i see where it's a lot of children that are walking lord god bless them to be able to continue to keep themselves together Right now, I am in California where I plan on staying for the rest of my life. Lord God, help me to be able to make that plan for myself where I shall continue to see you in my day. And all of the things that are happening in this life, thank you so much, Lord God, for blessing us all. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.